Welcome back. Vincennes Lincoln looks strong out of the gate. They've got lots of pieces in place to be really good this year. Now they've just got to keep the winds rolling in. Sounds easy, right? The Alice's jump the border to Illinois to take on Mount Carmel. Sometimes when things are going well, you just get the breaks. The pass deflected ahead right into the hands of Avery Mickens. He collects the bucket. Alice is in business. Check out the strength here from Brant Nawaski. A great ball fake. Gets three Mount Carmel defenders in the air. Too bad he doesn't get six free throws for that. Count the bucket. Big time play. And now he's at it again from the other corner this time. Strong move to the rim. Watch out for these Alice's, folks. A big time road win tonight. Lincoln goes to Mount Carmel and picks up the five point win. Edgewood stepped out of WIC play tonight to host Washington. The Hatchets jumped out to an early lead in this one. It's Colton Garland lining it up, knocking it down. That three ball makes it six nothing. The Mustangs battle back with some long range bombing of their own. A nice feed from the high post. Ryan Newman buries it from deep. Not the race car driver, but a similar <laughs> high speed game. Newman's Mustangs win a tight one tonight. A free throw from Tommy Black with .3 ticks on the clock sealed a one point win over Washington. Knox County bragging rights were on the line tonight as South Knox hosted North Knox. The Spartans had won nine straight in this rivalry until the Warriors won last year. Always fun when county rivals get together. South Knox, Austin Seavers had himself a ball game. Two of his 33 points. He was 13 of 14 from the floor. Also hit seven threes. Speaking of three, Caden Fields says one, two, three. Big shot by the North Knox freshman. It was raining threes in the South Knox gym tonight. Spartans Andrew Scott says bada bing, bada boom from downtown. South Knox wins a shootout. 87-75 over North Knox. So the Spartans take that one time now to check in with the third member of our team. Sports Tens John Swanner has even more Knox County action. What's going on, John? Well, Rick, let's head to Vincennes Revay, shall we? The Patriots looking for their first win of the year, and they welcome a one-win ball club to town. It's the Battle of Catholic Schools, Washington Catholic, and their 1-2 and two record invading Patriot Company, and Revay wasting no time. First possession, that's Colin Worth taking the rock right to the rack, scoring the hoop and the harm, and the Patriots are up 3-0 early. Then the offense working the ball around the horn to the wide open man. That's Alex Halter, and that's nothing but nylon. He gets the three right there, and Reve is rolling. But the Cardinals would try to stay in this one. That's a nice backdoor cut and pass to A.J. Sellers. He hits the easy layup, but it would be all Reve notching the victory in this one by a count of 56-33 over the Washington Catholic Cardinals. Down a slushy Route 33 to Robinson, where the Maroons hosted Cumberland. Let's pick things up in the second half. The Maroons working it inside to Landon Hoagland, and he hits the jumper in traffic. And that's just the beginning for the Maroons. And much like Reve, Robinson showing some nice ball movement here. This one to Wes Harrison. He gets the left-handed lay-in. Now, you saw him put up outstanding numbers on the football field this past fall. That's Jason Richard filling your screen and nice. filling the basket with a three ball with a man in his face. Then the next possession, Richard calling for the ball, but this time Robinson getting Michael Akande into the act. He gets the friendly roll. Robinson's been playing tough teams lately. They simply overmatch Cumberland this time, 63-28. The Maroons get Lawrenceville next Friday. So a slow, slower than anticipated night in the land of Lincoln, but Robinson does come away with the big win. And plenty of fans weathered the storm tonight, right guys? Yes, indeed. And guess what? We got our first Sports 10 Spirit Award for the high school basketball of the season. Let's roll the video. We'll start with Cloverdale. All pumped up there. Rockville, they're always excited to see the Sports 10 cameras. And then we got Edgewood in their red over there. Shack Mac is pumped up. I don't know if they were pumped up because they won or because Sports 10's Ross Rawlings was there. There were Santa Claus hats everywhere I look tonight. <laughs> this is Clay City. Well, you got to be in Similar the Similar theme. theme. You don't it have is. any kids, but Christmas is Christmas right around is the corner. Christmas is coming. Christmas is coming. St. Nick. And then we also have our first star fantasy performers of the basketball season. Let's show our top five tonight. And folks, you see the five right there. Ross and I had to do some serious debating. There were a lot of great performances on our first Friday night. We'll start with Austin Seavers. Incredible stat line, Ross. 13 of 14 from the field, seven threes. Almost near perfection. You know a thing about being perfect. How about that? <laughs> well, that's when you take a heat check. Say, Coach, <laughs> give me the rock. I got to keep shooting it. No, you don't make that many shots uh, unless you're taking good shots, and that's, that's just efficiency. 
and 33 points, a heck of a night. And I know another guard you love, that Marquise Moore out of Cloverdale. And we saw him make a great pass in the highlights, mm-hmm. make free throws to end the game. He's doing it all for Coach Rady's Clovers. They're now 6-0 on the year, mm-hmm. off to a tremendous start. He scores 32 in a victory over big-time rival Greencastle. And Cam Krieger for Eastern Green. We didn't even show him in the highlights. Had 27 points. Eastern Green's unbeaten, got a lot of talent. I'm telling you what, they just reload down there in T-Birds country. It's a different star. Last year it was Tyler Bro. Oh, yeah. The year before that, of course, JT Yoho now at Wright State tearing it up. Cam Krieger, 27 tonight, another undefeated team. And then Vincennes Lincoln's Josh Sprinkle, the ice cream man. I tell you what, I like this Vincennes Lincoln ball club. Got great guards, nice post players. He had 26 points. One of his friends was tweeting me, Josh, I believe you missed a dunk in that game. Should have been 28, <laughs> maybe. 29, possibly. Could have moved you know, up a line there. You still made our fantasy <laughs> stars of the night, though, Josh. Congratulations. And in a loss, Jordan Muir for North Knox, 25 points. Not a bad night. He can do it all. He gets to the rim very, very well. So, big night for everybody. Like I said, we had several others we could have picked on. Christian Ellis had a career high 15 points. Addison Wagler for uh, Bar Reeve, 18 points. Big night for a lot of people. So, good games around the valley, even with the snow. <laughs> that does it for In the Paint. Have a great weekend.